music. Siri's decided to talk to me. Hey Siri, play the sound of birds. Forest out there. All right, so we are going to do a Sunday live. Thank you so much for the patience of people that normally log in on Sundays. I had a couple of weeks off um, just to chill, get on top of stuff, but we are with it today. So thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me. You might not, but if you're not watching it live, uh, I hope you look forward to watching it post. Uh, but oh, the crafty knock. Welcome, welcome to my room. Makes a change, you're visiting me. I'm very hot as well. It's uh, people that live in warm countries, I apologise. In the UK, it's not really hot, but it is. It's feeling warm at the minute. I'm a bit all sticky. Anyway, uh, what you all been up to? I would love to know who's here, what y'all been up to. I got myself a little injury just before here. <laughs> Nothing major, my easel just collapsed on itself and it, it uh, trapped it. So, Kim, where have I been? Past two weeks, I apologise. First week, it was the anniversary, so I didn't want to do anything. And the second week, uh, it was Neil's, eight, not Neil's 80th, he's looking very well for 80, it's Neil's mum's 80th birthday. And I'd got every intentions of doing a live, but it was one of those where we were just having fun. So I put it off for another week, but I'm here. And I'm, I'm not prepared to do a resin tonight, so we will be doing a jesmonite, something fun, but maybe jesmonite with a twist, so hang out with me. I'm just going to make sure my camera angle is okay, and then if I do need to bring it closer, apologies while I'm shifting it, I will bring it in closer. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that there, but thumbs up. If you haven't already, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you find that it's uh, enjoyable, consider subscribing uh, and thank you to all my members. So I'm just going to have a little look what's happening here. So we've got the wonderful Paula who's going to be helping out. But today might be a night off for her. I believe that she's eating food. So make sure you enjoy time with family first. So welcome. Kim, welcome for joining us. Linda, welcome. Donna, oh, your first live chat with us. Well, Let's hope it's a fun live chat with you. <laughs> uh, let's hope we don't let you down and we've got some fun and banter. I think it's the people in here that make it fun. So make sure you do look after each other. Um, so Sherry, welcome. Uh, Alison, good evening. I bet you're enjoying that beautiful island today. Um, in Savannah. Oh, and hello, the crafting nut. So what are we going to do today? Well... Um, I'm going to wing it. I've got a couple of new moulds to use, but I'm really curious. So uh, people who are in uh, members would have shown me revealing this. Now, I've got no idea if this is going to work with jesmonite, but I love this mould. And when I was looking for new mould, it said it's suitable for concrete. Now, it's quite like tough. So I don't know if when I get my jesmonite in there, if I'm going to be able to get it out. But we're going to do this because I really love the detail on it. And I figure... If this ends up being one use, then at least if I get a good mould out of it, I can then make some mould myself. And then I thought, well, how am I going to balance it? So I might just have to hold it in my hands. So I'm contemplating doing this one. If you have used this one before, let me know. It does say run it under in cold water. It doesn't make sense when you're pulling it out, but we'll, we'll see how we go. But I've also got this nice new um, plant uh, pot that I wanted to have a little go at and see what that one looks like. Um, there's one that's exciting me. It's like a little pot with a lid. So I'm curious to know if I can get these ones out. These are from the dotting company. I know I've got so many things around me. I don't know which one I'm going to do. But I've also got a soap dish. So I'm curious to do that. I mean, I was thinking of having a go at doing that with the terrazzo. Terrazzo? 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 Oh, I never get it right, do I? Let's face it. Having a go with that. Uh, for the people that was on my last live that was resin, they took me forever. Just so you know, I've now got four out of the five completed, my sunsets, because it took so much energy doing the prep leading into it and the live that I didn't touch them for nearly two weeks, but I'm nearly finished those now. So uh, I'd love to know what you've all been up to, what projects are you working on? For the people that are seeing my Facebook group and people that send me emails, 
the Northern Lights. I'm a bit behind on that, but I'm going to go have a little look through and see which one I uh, am drawn to. But, uh, and then that one will get on to be the Facebook group page. And other than that, I think the challenge I'm going to set everybody for the month of June is the universe. So uh, if you want to take part in, if you want to create something or craft something, you can just use that as a title to guide it and then just send me your entries so that we can have a little look at them. But I'm going to have a look what chat is before we start. Um, there is no more questions. <laughs> You're all self-sufficient, which is amazing. Now, I ha I've got no idea how much these moulds are going to use, but I've got a few things behind. So what if I told you that I started to explore jesmonite in art? So there's a video coming up which shows that I've poured jesmonite onto an MDF board um, to start trying to get a specific thing out of it. Would you want to see it? I don't know. I think I might save that for a video. or, uh, <laughs> But I might have a go at that. So behind the scenes in my little tent, I've got a lot of projects on the go. So, uh, oh, my pi your pitch picture's become... Is it blurry for everybody else? Because I can see it okay. Uh, let me just check. Kim, is it blurry for you? Or was that a yes that you want to see what's behind it? Everybody's okay. Yes, you want to wait for the video? Or yes, the video's blurry? Oh, picture's okay. I can see it okay. Okay, it may be just yourself then, uh, Donna. Apologies. So I'm thinking the tones I'm going to work with is I'm going to give this a go. And you know me, it's most likely going to fail, but I want to I want to give it a go. Now, when you work with moulds this deep, you know it can cost a lot of money, so you might want to put something in there to make it thinner, where you push something in there. I'm not really one with words, am I? But I want it to be pretty solid because the idea being I'm going to put a little hole in there and then hang that outside in my garden area. So I'm going to take a leap of faith and hope that there's some positive energy that comes from this uh, Buddha. Uh, and I'm going to give this one a go. Now I've measured out, here's one I prepared earlier, some jesmonite, which is equating to 300 mils of liquid. Now I, oh, I don't think 300 mils is going to even touch that. Um... Oh, I'm second guessing myself. I might actually go and do the plant pot first because I'm like, do I want to waste my jesmonite? No, no, I don't. So we're going to go with this one. Buddha's just gone, I'm afraid. Let me put my charger in my phone while I remember. So just, oh, sorry, my hand's in the way. Just remember to give me that thumbs up. Uh, that is really helpful. And we're going to go with it. So I have dirty pots that I prepared earlier. Uh, but I have got in my powder that weighs 500 and in my liquid it's 200. Apologise for the pots, I know they're dirty but it's not going to come out in there, it's all good. So what I might do is I'll keep looking at the chat, really hope it works as it's so cool. Oh Sherry, now, now you're making me want to have a go at Buddha. What do you want to see? Do you want to see me have a go at Buddha? Do you want to have... Like, have a go at Buddha, have a go at the flower pots, have a go at the soap, I mean the soap dish is going to happen anyway. So it's really flower pot or Buddha and then I'm saving the rest of the jasmine night for some sneak little things I've got up my sleeve, even though I ain't got long sleeves. I'll wait for you all to get back. Which one would you like to see? Buddha? Plant pot. What are you all feeling this evening? Might have to put my hair up. All right, Buddha. Oh, Paula, you relax and eat your lovely food. Don't worry about the chat tonight. All right, Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. It is Buddha. All right, so I might have to milk my cow and get more powder out of here, but I'm going to stand here a little bit away from me, but hopefully you'll be able to see what we're doing. This is going to be interesting. How am I going to hold it? So what I'm thinking is I'm going to be using brown tones, which sounds really boring, I know. But then what I might do is come and do some gold embellishments. But I might go in there and, and just do a little dusting of gold. 
bear with me. I'm going to get my dusting of gold. Uh, plenty of gold shimmer. I think we'll go with that one. We might even get a guest appearance from Neil tonight. He's just about finished his patio, but he's, he's coding tonight. So he is having a little night off from working very hard out there in the patio. So I'm going to do a little bit of dusting with the gold uh, shimmer. The reason I'm going to do this first is because resin sets so quickly. Not resin, jasmine light sets so quickly. But I am just going to dust it randomly. I just want it to catch sort of little areas or cusps of it. I'll come through with that little gold pen uh, tomorrow once it's all settled and do a little bit more. But I'm feeling the earthy tones because it's going to go in my garden. I, I, I feel that's kind of what I want to see, but we'll see. What other art projects are you all working on? And I want to know, Paula, are your fish and chips lovely tonight? I've got no rhyme or reason where I'm dusting it. I'm just randomly just sticking it in places just so it's going to uh, capture it. Uh, we got a little area glistening in there. Do you know what, Alison? I really struggle with the measurements, but that's where uh, you get somebody who's good with it, like Neil, to get you a little cheat sheet. And then all you do is refer to it and measure it and it tells me i think i've shown it here if you want me to email it here i will uh, but yeah um there's people that can help you don't let that be a reason not to try this beautiful product all right probably gone not as generous as i would normally go with my uh, gold but i'm gonna leave it at that very very light dusting but hopefully just enough to make it glisten what i'm using uh, tonight is color cottage Lovely pigment, lovely sparkle, honey gold. We'll see how we go. I might have to get my uh, hair put because I'm really am hot. All right, so I've pre-mixed my powders out, like I said. I'm going to put a mask on now. You don't need a respirator for jasmine. I've not used it before, but you, you, you do, 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 do need a mask to stop you breathing in that fine powder and gloves to stop it irritating your skin. So just bear with me while I go get one. I thought I prepared myself really well and I thought I'd got everything, but no, no I didn't. Oh, oh I've got myself stuck on something. I've been spray painting today, so there's a few projects. I've got about five projects behind the scenes, so you should start seeing a few more videos coming out while I have two weeks just to re-energise, procrastinate. Uh, my, my day job's just been very busy as well. All right, what's going off in chat? Alison, keep everybody entertained. Wonderful. Crafting Nook, come on, I know you can keep everybody entertained as well. Um, how do you work out the volume? The, depending on the um, brand you're using, it's normally a 2.5 to 1 ratio. And if, if I'd have really prepared for tonight, I would have weighed with water I would have just poured water in there from a measuring cup to work out the volume uh, that's a hot tip for you use just um put the water in there then you know the volume i'm just guessing it and then i'm going to add more uh, but that's what i do if i want to be very purposeful with my jasmineite um and then my neil did this little cheat sheet so if i need 300 mils of volume then it tells me how to break it down into powder and liquid that's my cheat sheet with this one, I'm just eyeballing it and I'm, I know it's probably going to need maybe both lots of what I've done. Uh, and then that's what I would say. Um, oh, you've just done a Reggie Paint palette mode. Nice. Uh, oh. oh, you've done a turtle. Yes. I love a good turtle. Yes, I um, just send me an email and I'll send it you back. So with Jesmite, you are always going to add your... It's like baking with Sharon when you're doing Jesmite. So always, always, a little bit of powder in with your Jesmite. You're just adding it slow. You're going to want to get a nice uh, lump-free mixture for our Jesmite. If you could have seen me the past two nights, because for a project I'm working on, I've spent two nights baking with jasmineite. I've got a cooling tray out. It was like, it really was bake with Sharon. 
a little bit of a time now for people that's never uh if you're new to this this particular jasmine art uh, once it makes contact like this the whatever is in there is starting its timer to cure and you have it starts within five minutes starting to cure preparation is key thinking out what you're going to be doing not like what i've just done and then you go with it so i am unfortunately not able to see what you're writing in comments just at the minute um the bowl definitely does work easier if you've got a big bowl and your little whisk here and then i just give it a blast with my little uh, uh power blender for 30 seconds um the only thing i've thought about is when you do use your blenders you are putting a lot of oxygen in here so you're getting lots of bubbles but if you give it a gentle blow <laughs> before you start pouring you don't want to apply any heat to it or it's going to cause it to cure even quicker uh, and then you'll get wrinkly and jasmineite all right and now to the right of me just down here i've got a bowl of water ready so i just put my utensils in there just to get rid of the jasmineite off just so i can use it again straight away so if you hear that little bit of noise that's what's going on there uh if you're noise sensitive just be Away, I'm going to put the blender on for 30 seconds. It is like baking a cake. Let's hope it's going to come out. Christina, I'm happy that you caught a live as well. It's just nice hanging out with you. I've missed you all. Just gonna put them in the little washing machine there. It's a lot more efficient. Now, what do you want? Do you reckon a solid colour? Or should we go for like a little marbling effect? I think I'm feeling like a little marbling effect. But jasmineite pigment is very, very strong. I should know. I dropped the blue pot on my hand yesterday and it took me a good half an hour of scrubbing my hands to get it off. So this one is meant to be a terracotta so what i might do is just put oh i was going to say put three dots in there but that's about six and then i'm going to show you i don't know if you can see if i tilt it there how quickly this will color it up i don't know if you can see it that way still mixing in so that's giving me a nice sort of ready brown but it's very 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 pale still so i am going to add quite a bit more pigment so i want, I want my buddha to have a nice color what's it called oh it is terracotta so it's going to have that nice red so i'm going to add a little bit more color just so it's the base usually just a couple of drops at a time um because it does pigment quite nicely and then what i might do is once i've got it slightly dark i'll just put a few more pigments in there just so I get a little bit of marbling. It's really weird, it's like it's not colouring it. It's like pink, I don't know if I want it that colour. You do have to be careful though, there is just a 2% uh, of volume from liquid to your, uh, oh, it's like it's all drying out, I picked them. All right. I don't know if you saw it, it was like all gloopy then. All right, so I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a, a beautiful little sort of, can you see it all right? Beautiful little marble in there. So I'm going to use this now, which is going to be interesting because I'm going to have to hold this now for 20 minutes. What are we doing, people? All right, so I'm going to high up pour it and maybe swirl it this is going to be interesting to see if this is actually going to come out so this should make up 300 mils worth of volume so that's only got a face done so what i will do is have to let her set and come and do the back Neil, 
I need him to scoop the rest out. I don't want to waste my Jesper night. But I do have nowhere to stand it. But I'm going to tap away and I am going to blow my Jesper night. See, this is where I need a little helper that can um, scrape around the edges because it's just like icy. Now it's moving backwards and forwards in my hand, which is not what you want to happen as it starts setting. I do want to try and get as much as that out of there as possible. I don't want to waste the jesmonite when it costs so much. Uh, let's have a little look what's being checked. So the good thing with it being in my hand this whole time is I'm going to be able to slap it good. All right, I think I've got as much jesmonite as I can out of there and I'm just going to give it a gentle slap I'm slapping Buddha's head I don't know if that's going to give me a bad luck or not you just want to force any air bubbles to come out now I'm trying to innovate now and think is there a way I can support her I knew it was going to be a challenge when I got her is there a way I can support her Ooh. no that's not going to work should have thought this one through, shouldn't I? No, I'm gonna have to hold it in my hand. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that, we're going there. I'm just gonna get a straw just to blow gently. You may not be able to see, sorry, the camera angle's not clear, but I'm just gonna blow to just try and get rid of some of these air bubbles. And then, what I'm going to do is mix up the rest of my jasmine eye that I've mixed because I reckon it's still going to take the same amount again just to fill her up and then we'll demold her and then I'll just mix up some more jasmine eye and we'll do the next one so let me see where I'm missing in chat once I've done this I actually let me let me bring you in closer avert your eyes and what I'm going to do is just show you what happens when I blow on the straw so all right, so you may or may not be able to see this. Let's see if I can see it. Yeah. Just that hot air from your breath just is enough to get rid of all these air bubbles. I hope you can see. Oops. All right, so we've got most of those air bubbles off the top. She's going to be a nice little, um, I think, marble effect. She might be a bit freaky, but we've got that gold pen. We can go in there afterwards. So I'm going to flip you back while I mix up the rest of the jasmineite because by the time that's mixed, this will be more or less ready. Just checking that she's level, sorry. That would have been really weird for you then. <laughs> and then I'll see if there's any questions because I want it to be more or less heated up by the time I um, add more so it has that quick rapid thermal event where it'll cure up over 20 minutes and then at that point I can add the second layer of jesmonite just trying to get you a better angle apologies I really could do it like a head cam so you can see directly down on there but I'm just going to bend down here now clean out my jesmonite from a bowl um, and then see what people are saying in here Yes, thumbs up if possible, that's really helpful. So Anna, welcome, greetings from Birmingham, UK Sharon. I'm just glad you got here. You're never late, you're just on time. Crafting Nook, how have you been? I know you're in here. You're doing a live tonight or is it just a night off for you today or day off? Uh, thank you for asking for the thumbs up for me. It really is helpful. Uh, if only we could be done real busy. Oh, we're blowing on a straw, yeah. If only, eh? Every time I have used a straw on resin, I have to put a big disclaimer on there saying, please don't breathe it in, just blow it out. All right. So the real, if you um, leave the jasmineite on your stuff, it's okay. It'll just peel off the next day, but I just, I prefer to clean as I go. I think I've got a bit of OC day, but because I'm using the next, Jasmine light fairly quickly. Uh, I just want it to be all ready and clean and then we're good to go again. Ready for it all. I don't know. Do you reckon I should stick to the same colour at the back or do you reckon I should go a bit darker? 
more or less the same really isn't it otherwise it might look strange i'm hoping that the five uh the 300 mils is going to be enough i really do not too sure on that anyway it's nice uk people a little bit of sun how cool's that just a little bit of sun there you go that's a bit better um yeah so behind down in the corner i've just got this bowl of water here washing as i go trying to keep my mess um neil just wants me to make sure that i'm not pouring any of the hard uh cured jasmine out down the sink which i'm not uh, but if you clean up as you go works out there for everybody in my opinion um so i was th thinking on next sunday's one is going to be a one focused on oceans and that one's going to be mainly around how i maybe just um what was i thinking it was either going to be one focused on the different whites and different effects you can get with um your oceans or i was just going to do one where we do one over a course of uh three weeks together so we'll do our um base layer one week and then come back and do um the next layer the next week so like the blue peter style but instead of doing it all in advance for you because i then have to do it five times over um getting you to maybe come along when i say come along join the live but i don't know if you'll be able to do it or do the lesson directly after it whatever works for you just so you can see how i do it and my process and you got a chance to ask questions i don't know whether you'd prefer it to be interactive or whether you just want to watch as we go and ask questions and then maybe you do it post date but any feedback on that would be amazing what we got here hello ronnie you made it greetings from alberta in canada wonderful mammy um what kind of price is jasmine i never used it so jasmine i is slightly more expensive than resin but not greatly more expensive but if you buy in bulk you save a lot of money um so this one and i'm still working my way through it it's absolutely massive cost me 210 pound i believe uh but you can get different brands um and and that'll be cost effective you've got starter packs as well so you can give it a go and see whether you like it but wherever wherever you are buy bulk it saves you absolutely loads of money yes it is expensive bob ross style yeah yeah bob ross style i think that might be good in my opinion i just i don't want it to tip over I see she's starting to set now but i, I want to oh i've lost a little paddle i'm going fishing for my paddle did i where is it no it's there <laughs> I'm looking for the uh, second attachment for my um, power blender so that we can get on with it. <clears throat> It'd be so cool if it turns out really nice. So with the back part, I was considering, do you, I need to go get my hair tie. Do you stick something in here as it's curing uh, to leave that hole or would I drill the hole out afterwards? Um, so I know where I'm going to hang it on the wall and I think I'm going to drill the wall out afterwards it might be a neat idea to put something in there to leave a little hole sorry just going to get my gloves again just run out of my last pack I think did I no they're here I'm just having one of those weekends or days where you're like what's my name I'm a Sharon had the um we had lunch out today me and neil and i got really sleepy after having it because i'm not used to eating a big lunch so early um nearly had a nap and nap but i decided to stay awake and do some art instead uh, yeah it, it really does depend on what you do as a hobby um if you if you enjoy it, i am now starting to incorporate it into some art i'm starting to push um my knowledge and and learning a little bit in that space let me see if i've got a bubble nearby i used to keep one for an emergency here but i don't seem to have it anymore it's the power surge i'm having Woo! 
all right it's definitely setting now so i'll be good to mix this next one up add it and then uh hopefully we'll be able to take her out but then other than that we'll do the little tub i really want to do the oh, i can't get my hands in i'm having the same thing as i did the other week where it's so hot my hands are swelling and i can't get them in the gloves it's like i need talcum powder on my hands to get them in oh oh that was tough that was really tough i got it in there though Heather's treasure. Oh my word. You are a stranger. How is work going? How is life treating you? What you've been up to? So lovely to see you. And you didn't get a notification. That's terrible. All right. So exactly the same as before. I have got my 200 ml of milk, which is the jesmonite fluid, and my uh 500 of of the powder and we're going to do the exact same thing and i think i'll be able to move buddha out of the way so i don't uh ruin her too much it's more or less set i don't know if you can see she's not moving or anything like that but i don't she'll be very fragile so i don't want to drop her i just want to make sure she's safe and moved and then we'll come and do the last little bit put one next to her ear so she'll fall over oh god that's gonna be a thing now isn't it going back again come on sharon you did it once you can do it again if she rolls i will be so upset actually oh look at that innovation she sits in there beautifully <laughs> where there's a will there's a way all right, before I get on with this, is there any questions, anything? It's lovely to see you as well. It's lovely to see everybody in here showing the support. 38, I love that, amazing. Remember to give me that thumbs up. Help an old lady out with her video. Only if you think it's worth it. All right, here we go. Oh, didn't put a mask on. Bad, bad, Sharon. All right, we are baking with Sharon again. And that's some lovely jasmineite pancakes. Not really. Hashtag disclaimer, please do not eat your jasmineite at home. I think I'm quite efficient at it now. And like my bowls as well, if they have a bit of hard jasmineite on there, it doesn't stress me out. Whereas before I'd want my bowl to be perfectly clean every time. And I've realised that, you know, it, it doesn't really impact greatly uh, what you're doing. Um, there's no bits coming out or getting in there or stopping your work. All right. Okay. Hello, Patricia. Don't you worry about being like you are here. Oh, Christina, I am about to hit my uh, 50th birthday this September. I think it allows me to say I'm a little bit old, especially when I keep having knockout flushes that I'm going through at the minute. <laughs> but I am a young soul. And I think with a great sense of humour, you might think differently. Hello, Mary. Oh, when you reach old, you can call me 70. You're old. Well, I know when it's raining because my joints start aching, aching so I don't know what that makes me, just uh, sick and vulnerable. <laughs> yeah, whoever's got channels in here, uh, just um, put a little note in there so that we can make sure we go and share some love and pop over and visit people and support other people. Uh, fellow artists down there they've got a good channel they've got miss uh, crafting nook it's got a lovely channel been doing a few lives they've been going over there and hanging out so show some support there we've got the lovely heather's treasures that's got an amazing channel as well who else we got in here that's got channels let's share the love and give you a shout out i just want to shout out to all the members thank you so much for all your support helping me keep doing experiments like this And do you know what? There's very little cleaning up with uh, Jesmonite. Uh, and what I mean about that is my measuring up cups and everything powders, I just leave it and then come back and add the next lot. 
um, and it's just really the tools you're using like this when you actually start mixing the, the milk to the powder that's my water bucket just going there you know so i'll avert your ears if you're noise sensitive just 30 second blast of this <laughs> icing you remember the days when your mum or nan used to be making stuff proper cakes or icing and you'd be like i'll take that utensil all right they're all cleaning nicely so we're going to go back in with the terracotta again if we remember from last time it needed quite a lot these um these seem to be drying out i don't know um if it's just because they were part of a bigger paint set that was broken down or whether you only have a certain life on them but i've noticed that they're drying at the bottom um you can feel clumps of the thing and then it, it's just like fluid um that's left i don't know if i've articulated that but my pigments feel like they're drying out so i reckon that you'll only have a certain shelf life before you've got to have used them so I'm going to mix this in all together to start with to get the base colour and then we'll put a few more spots in there so we can get a little bit of that hopefully marbling effect happening. But she is drawing a nice terracotta colour, you can't see her but she is and we've dusted it a little bit with gold for the colour cottage. There you go, so we're going to put a few more little splats in there and then if this has filled the mold it's taken 600 mils of uh, fluid to fill it and um, i've not really looked at how many dots i've put in there so that could have pushed it to the max what happens with jesmonite if you put too much of this liquid in um it causes a little bit of cracking uh, to your jesmonite uh, and you can still get some of the pigments coming off in your hand now I actually like that, I've tried purposely doing that a few times and uh, I've enjoyed the results, so I'm experimenting but that's what we like a little bit, we've got a little bit of the marbling effect happening there I'm going to leave a stud in here and then hopefully I don't know if you can see that, I'll bring you in close so you can have some of that look at the effects I just want it to be going into her ears so that we actually get the full effect of her. Oh, yeah, that's actually done better than I thought. It's not quite level, so I'm going to pick it out soon. Ah, let me see if I can just level this out. Little adjustment there. Little adjustment there. And then, so this mould, if it's going to release it, <laughs> fingers crossed, that is um, 600 mils of fluid it's taken to fill it. So it's an expensive mould, but as I mentioned before, you can always put things on the inside, like fill it part way and then put silicone. Oh, hello. That's Zeus. Dramatic entrance there, Zeus. Can we say hello? All right, so that one's empty, which is nice. I'm just gonna get the um, air bubbles out of this and try and level it. And otherwise when it's on the wall, it's gonna be unlevel. So let me bring you in again so you can see. Sorry, just tweaking her a little bit. I don't wanna force it in though, otherwise she's gonna have indentations on her. Let me bring you in so you can see again. Avert your eyes, avert your eyes. All right, so this is what um, it looks like. And you can see the bubbles will start coming to the top and disappearing themselves. But I'm going to get my straw if I can find where I've put it. And hopefully you will just see how, apologies for my breathing that's going to be loud, 
but you should see how these bubbles disappear just with my hot hot breath on it. Don't know. Now I don't know if you saw that, but it's pretty impressive the way it does it. And so now we just have a little bit of time to wait until this will be ready for pulling out of here. I'm just mindful that I don't want it to... I'm worried in case I have um, caused her to have indentation. So I am just leveling it with my hand. She's very, very hot. And what I mean by that is um, underneath where it's really curing, uh, it's got really hot. I mean, it's still good for me to touch, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. Uh, but I just want to level her out a little bit and I didn't want the bowl to give her any um, indentations because even though it's curing, it's very, very fragile and brittle for a period of time. gonna scoop by moving it around like I'm doing now as well it's uh, causing some of the air bubbles to release which is good so I'm just gonna tap slightly around the edge just to release any air bubbles I'm very impatient I'm gonna be Well, if the mould works, if it releases it, and if you can see, she'll be pretty nice. And then come in with a little bit more of that gold. Just going to put it down a bit now. See if I can get those. Um, look at me. I just keep walking around with it, don't I? So, mental note to self, Sharon. Next time, build a box to fit her in. Oh, she's nearly over the edge there distracted all right so she is definitely going to start to cure i just need to neaten those edges up where i've made a mess with holding her in my own hands Ooh. oh dear me i might have to put her back in the bowl because i am not doing a good job here and i'm running out of time i don't know what that squeal was there all right She's placed in with no pressure. All right, let me just salvage these sides here. The beautiful thing with jesmonite as well is when you get any edges, the sanding, people know that I can sand it because I sanded it before, is so easy. The most important thing though is she'll have to dry on a uh, rack so that um, she doesn't sweat. I'm just going to go back over this with a straw. You can start to see as I'm blowing now, the minute you can see it have like a skin over it, like when you're making your own rice pudding, you know that, um, not that I've ever made my own rice pudding, you know that you're on your limits with it. So I'm just going to give this a quick, all my tools a quick wipe and then I'll see what comments have been going on. It's like I need, I need a, I need an assistant. I need somebody to be cleaning off my stuff as I'm going. It's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy. Let's see what's happening anyway. I've got a young soul. <laughs> Love that one. Who else we got here? Hello, Alison. Oh. Hello to Shine in Bulgaria. So we've got another Sharon on here. Yes. Another princess. Uh, oh, you still might make proper icing. Oh, yes. Go love a bit of proper icing. I tried to send a super chat and it wouldn't connect. Who did you try to send a super chat to? Oh, Zeus coming in. Yeah, you get the ripple effect. I'm just hoping that it's going to release from the mould. That's going to be the test for me. That's the thing that made me nervous because I thought 
it's more likely going to release for cement. I don't think resin would release from it. But nowadays, if you get a mould that you like, or should I say, if I get that out and I really like it, and I want to do it with resin, I can make my own mould um, to, to match it. Uh, but it, it definitely did say concrete use when I purchased it, so I, I feel confident it will, but you know me, when you do a live, if something's going to go wrong, it will. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you'd come and assist me what the time you got here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's a nice thought. Hello, Tiny. I'm going to say Tina. Um, mold release, I think it would work. Um, it didn't tell you to do that in structures. I'm not too sure how mold release would work with jasmine. I would imagine it's pretty similar to resin, so we can try that. Uh, yes, I think it might do. Sorry, just giving my bowl a, a clean because I know we're going to have to uh, use these bowls again now. So I used all my stash for this Buddha. But by popular demand, you all wanted to see what she was going to look like, so. It's worth it. I'm sorry if you just see my bum. <laughs> oh, the back of my hair. Especially Paula. It's not what she wants to see while she's eating. I almost need like, uh, now summer's coming, like one of those outdoor kitchen areas that you have what's designed for a barbecue. And I'll be like, no, I want that for my art space, please. So I can do lives in the back garden uh, while it's summer and hot. Might be actually cool that. All right, so bowl is done. We're all good. Cleaning up as I go, otherwise I get stressed. Hello, Zeus. All right. Let me see what's going on in chat. Sorry, this is me amusing you. Hello. Get your bit to assist you. I should, I should get him up. He's been really good before, but I feel guilty because he's been working on the patio area, which is just about finished for so long that he's, he's doing some coding. I don't know if he'll be, uh, I don't know if he'll like me if I call him up. <laughs> I think I'll be pushing, pushing my luck then. All right. What is the next thing we want to see then? This is curing. Oh, I need to get my, bear with me. I need to get my, um, <laughs> you can hear me. I, I, it's like I'm undoing a, uh, don't know where, a suitcase or something. No, I'm just going into my cupboard where I can get the um, dry, oh, drying rack out. Or air rack? Is it, what's it called? Air rack? Drying rack? Cooling, cooling tray. Cooling rack? What's it called? Just bear with me. I've got to take my bars of gold off that I'm working on. And I can't tell too much more, otherwise, oh, oh, I can't ruin them. Or I'll reveal where it is I'm doing. I can't do that. Sorry, I am just, <laughs> I'm not as prepared as I thought I was, because I'm having to rearrange some stuff here that I'm working on projects. And I'm just teasing you by saying that, aren't I? But I can't reveal. I'm working hard on it for a video. <laughs> oh, come on, Sharon. So let me just stretch over the back because I've got to pile stuff up so it doesn't break and so that it's not in camera view as well. It's not good. All right, where are we? We're nearly there. No, that way. All right. I'm having to pile things high and hope that they're going to be all right, which I think they are. I can tidy them up later. This must be so weird for people that's just going to come in because I had to get things off my cooling tray. I don't know if you heard anything that was going on there while I was crawling into my little tent there. Um, all right, so she's doing nicely. Leave her for a little bit. I'm not 100% certain how she's gonna release. Now it did say to release it as well, maybe run it under cold tap so if i feel that it's not going to release i might have to bop into the bop into the pop into the bathroom put it under some cold water and see if it'll release it from the mold that's what it says to do that makes me a bit nervous but 
But I am saying I'm nervous a lot. So let me have a little look. What was the next thing that you wanted to see? Was it? Oh, your water splash never turned out. Oh, sorry. That's not good, is it? Uh, you know what? I'll show you my tent. But you're not looking inside because all of my treasure in there. Hello, Cosmic Carol. Welcome. Another lady with a great channel. So, yes. Yeah, so, this is not an actual tent. You're going to say, yes, it is, Sharon. But this one is like the end of a greenhouse. It's like a, like a tunnel thing. So, it's like a, a very small one. But it sits beautifully inside here. And it's just my way of trying to... Um, stop the dust getting in there because it, it really does bug me when I get dust in there and then I go on the journey where I try and get rid of the dust and Ronnie thank you so much <laughs> that's beautiful thank you Ronnie <laughs> you like my treat yes there is a special treat it means a lot to me and I I've made stuff in there and it makes me really happy and there's a couple of gifts on there that I got from the wonderful Paula uh, just giving my room with positive energy. Uh, so thank you for that. And thank you so much, Ronnie, for your support there. Really appreciate it. And Cosmic Carol, you are never late. You are just in time. Hello, Heather. Howdy. So we are waiting for our Buddha head to dry for the people that's um, just joined us. Not used it before. It's not a silicone mould. I don't know if it's going to release, but that's part of the excitement, I suppose. Um, and then I am just wondering yes that's what we were talking about um, Mary to put something in there so that it, um, it stops you using the volume reduces the weight reduces the cost for this I've decided to fill it up because um, it's going to go in my garden so a bit of weight might help it so it's not blowing all over but the next thing I'm thinking of doing is the soap tray or this one that's a little pot with a with a lid so what would you like to see i'm deciding to do the either one of these because i think this one will take a lot of uh jasmineite again um what would you like to see i'll wait for your answers there i'm just staring at my my screen waiting for somebody to say what they want to see or do next pot with a lid pot with a lid pot with a lid wonderful so these ones are from uh devon dotting i've not used them before uh they're quite exciting um i got them from i think etsy so these ones are this the market is as though they are specifically for concrete uh so concrete jasmineite uh not used them before they feel very good quality they look like they've got a nice little shine in there. So we're going to give that a little go. Hello, Bee Bear. Uh, and don't worry, you are not late. You are just in time. So that's the next one we're going to use. So I've got no idea of the volume again. I think it's going to take more than what I think it's going to take. <laughs> I'm not selling myself, have I? I think 300 mil might be an overkill. If I did 300 ml, I could always put some in the soap tray if we've got some. Or I can show you how you can put it onto a canvas and do some like, oh, I was going to say show you how to do some art with it. But I might not have enough time because you only have 20 minutes and five minutes before it starts curing. So, but remember to give me a thumb. <coughs> Apologies, it's not, <coughs> not COVID, that's just a dry throat. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already thank you so much for hanging out with me everybody that's here so that's been with me and for the people that's just joined hopefully you'll enjoy seeing this one uh i'm a little bit uh, all over the place tonight but we're all right yes oh you picked up on it nicole yes i have been practicing and i, I i'm not showing you where it is because it's on a video but I have some jasmineite on the back of this one and I am starting to explore how you can do fluid art with jasmineite that will be stuck on your wall. So, yes, there's some promise there uh, and I'm trying to work out how, 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 how do you get some nice effects. So, let me see. So, 
So I'm not showing you what it's going to be or where it's living to, but I'm, this is um, some different effects that I'm working on and trying. So this is the back and this is the front. Uh, but you're getting some nice little blending happening. So I'm just trying to educate myself. Have some fun. Uh, but there will be videos coming up uh, in the next week. They'll show you what all those do turn into. So I'm quite excited by them. Um, yeah. Thank you, Sue. I'm glad that you like my videos. And I love all of you people interacting with me. Uh, can you not measure quantities with rice? You can definitely... Um, I measure normally water so i'll go um and test a new mold out i'll fill it with water so i know the volume i need uh but i didn't prepare for this one and i've not used this before so i'm just winging it and that's part of the fun so yeah uh, i don't want to be over prepared so let me see how she's going Ooh, she's eaten up so I, I'm going to have a go at demolding her um, and she looks promising but she's very fragile at this stage still so it's peeling away so I don't know if you can see I'm pulling it and once you can pull it and see that she's coming away but she could easily crack as well if I pull her too much I'm just trying to see how how she's going to release from the mould. Oh, she's already cracked on her ear. So the ear has cracked. That might make her look like she's more of a uh, antique. She's sweating as well, bless her. So I'm just slowly teasing her. And what I mean by she's sweating, because it rapidly heats up, I'll show you. Um, so I don't know if you can see down here but the beads are sweat because it rapidly heats up and this is why you have to release them from the mould so that uh, all the moisture can disappear but what I might do is see if I get my no I'm going to do it this way sorry Zeus is barking for you Don't you worry if you've missed any. There's some more coming up. But I'm just going to slowly tease her away. And see if, uh, see if I can get her out of here. I'm just a bit worried though. Because... More or less got her to her face now. Oh! Oh! She's got some kind of skin disease. <laughs> oh, bless her. Oh, there's been leakage. Oh, that's not what you want to happen. All right, let me show you what's happened to her. So, it looks like the jasmineite that I pulled on second has gone around the mould and underneath. <laughs> so, she looks like she's got these kind of weird skin blemishes all over her and we've lost an ear uh, but <laughs> other than that <laughs> she, she looks good so I'm going to show you in and show you and you know it just might mean she looks more of a um, antique so look what is that weirdness that's happened there so yeah so i might be able <laughs> leakage leakage freakage but she did release from the mold i i lost a ear look but we could we i might be able to glue that back on look pretend it never happened or we could pretend that you know it's a very old rustic one the gold actually never came through for the sorry if that's a bit close so there are parts of it that I really enjoy, but if I... Yeah, it looks like a perfect antique, doesn't it? She's got a little bit of a bogey there, look. That's where a little bit of the brown, the, um, the pigment, so... Yeah, there's... You know, 
I'm still waiting to see. I need to. <laughs> So I might have to see if I can sand her down. Bless her. She's got fungus all over her. Oh, bless her. I reckon that, you know, I'm still like you. I'm in shock at what's happened to her. She had so much potential. It's like, it really is like a skin graft gone wrong, isn't it? <laughs> Claire, you came in at the good time where I was experimenting with a mould. And it's the first time I've used the mould, but we weren't too sure if it would work. <laughs> so if it, you know, this is why I experiment, so that it saves you some money. But, um, Claire, this is what I just used. And because I had to do her in two halves, she had a little bit of leakage that occurred. And it's given her a weird kind of skin differences. But, you know... I, I, I quite like her. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to hold her up a little bit. I'm still in a little bit of shock what I've created from such a beautiful mould. <laughs> but let's hold her up. So she lost a bit of ear. We know she lost her ear. I do have to remove some of this edges. So I'm going to have to file her a little bit. But she does look like a very, very antique garden ornament <laughs> I'm still gonna put in my garden I still think that there's beauty in it I reckon that if you'd have poured the 600 mil in one go <laughs> she'd have looked brilliant all right she is really hot though so I'm just going to get my uh look at a poor ear oh bless her I probably took her out a little bit too early but I'm just going to lightly sand her Claire, do you reckon I can sand her face to get rid of her skin disorder? <laughs> oh dear me. I'm going to wait to see what I've been missing here. <laughs> I'm glad that your face hurts from laughing, B. She's stunning, I know, but she wasn't meant to have the skin disorder that I've given her. But you know what? We learn, don't we, Claire? It... It took 600 mils. I did it in two halves because I didn't measure before because I was lazy. And laziness gave her a skin disorder. But I think it's actually made her look quite antique if I'm being really honest. And I reckon I'll come back and do a few little highlights of gold to try and get you to not focus on a skin disorder or a missing ear. And I'll let her dry. But the actual, these parts though, Look past the skin disorder, but the the um <laughs> the colouring is actually really nice. She's got a bogey. She's had a skin graft that's gone wrong. But yeah. <laughs> At least she came out of the mould and I can use this mould again. So she sweated a lot, look. Um, you can see the beads are sweating there still. Uh, but I clean out and I should be able to use that again. So note to self, Sharon, 600 mils in one go and uh, that will look nice. And think about putting a box around it to support it. That's what I say. Anyway, what have I been missing in comments? She is still stunning, Claire. She is. I was thinking about you with the sanding uh, when you've just done your three pots and you had to sand, 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 sand. Uh, yes, yeah, she's got a bad case of psoriasis. <laughs> so good at laughing at me. She does look great though. I am embracing it. I, I think that she's gone rustic. Rustic is good. <laughs> a face and a bogey, yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. So I'm going to do the next one then. Bear with me. I don't have anything pre, pre-made for these ones because Buddha took it all, bless her, and then she uh, gave me some positive energy to the world. I'm just gonna move her out of the way. I reckon I can glue her ear back on. Claire, have you have you ever glued anything successfully back on with Jesmonite? I'd love to know that. <laughs> all right, let's tidy up. Well. 
Let me tidy up while you all watch. Go and make yourself a cup of tea or something. I'm going to get my cow and start milking it again. Now, where am I going to stick this one? Down here. Yeah, I'm going to have to get my powder out and we are going to get on with this one. So we said it was going to be the dotting company lid. And I'm going to mix up um, 300 ml of fluid. So I might do that and the soap one. So that's going to be 500 powder to 200 liquid. Yes, that's right. All right, keep everybody entertained, please. Oh, E E six hundred. You haven't tried gluing anything, Claire. You've obviously not created a monster like me or <laughs> lost anything yet. We'll do it. Oh no, I'm not a sander either. But excuse me, lovely ladies and gentlemen, while I go and get my powder, weigh it. We'll pretend that we're doing some kind of, um, you know, Breaking Bad situation. And then, oh. Oh, one thing I have done, which you've not seen, because I haven't, because I had my milk prepared for you. Look at this bad boy. So you know how you, you, thought you were all impressed with my syringe, this one? Well, I've upgraded now. Look at the size of that bad boy now. <laughs> I just can't wait to get that one. I hope it's going to fit in my tub, though, to be able to get it out, because that might be the issue. My hole might not be big enough to fit that syringe size in. All right, where's my powder? I always, because uh, I've got such a big tub downstairs, I always keep little tubs to uh, fill it up with. It was a big one, wasn't it? Uh, but I keep little tubs to fill it in just so it's more convenient for me. Alright, here we go. Claire, did you have a lovely weekend? Seems like forever since we've chatted. I might have to give you a call. Alright, here we go. Mask going on. Alright, I'm in a bit of disarray, people, now. Since I had my Buddha with her skin disorder, I've... Uh, misplacing things left right and center you now entertain yourself while i just get my powder ready oh bugger wrong way i reckon 300 mils is going to kill that tub nicely and i'm going to go for blues blues and whites in that one so that is going to be 500 of the powder which is going to take a lot of this and it does take a lot of powder. I think that's the thing with resin, because, well, the, the resin I use, it's one-to-one, -one, so logically it seems easier to work with. It, it really does get your head a little bit of uh, going around when you're using the 2.5 to, to one. Well, it does me. Mass has never been my strongest point. I want to know as well, Claire, have you made use of your garden today in this nice weather? All right, nearly there. This is the boring part for you while I start getting all my uh, narcotics done. Not really. Hashtag disclaimer. That was a joke. All right, 500. Let's milk the cow. Now, let me see if my syringe is actually going to fit in there. If it does, that will be amazing because it'll just be one big squirt and I'm done. Excuse me, you're going to see the back side. No! It's, <laughs> it's too big for my whole wall. Oh, far out. All right, I'm going to pour it. I really should have the hair tie back. Right. Wow, that went light over. This one really has seized up. That was the whole point of me getting a new one. 
I can't get my suction right now. Just need eight to come out. Two to come out. Yes. Sorry, that was the uh, fluid then being squirted back in. All right. Apologies. So, yeah, this is the size of the liquid that I buy. Uh, you can get different brands out there, but this is the one where you only have one um, ratio of one of that. So the powder is massive. All righty. There we go say this is where it gets more exciting for you but not quite yet it's when it's the reveal time so we're going for our whisking anyway let me see what's happening before i do this you snooze because the brits have it. yeah i had an afternoon snooze uh oh new mower very good that's what she said <laughs> all right yes 500 grams of powder to 200 grams of milk it's not really milk it's just what i call it all right so you know the drill people that's been on here we wanting to bake some nice pancakes very smooth consistency we don't want no lumps but we know that the minute that powder and that uh, fluid makes contact we've got that five minute timer but if you're prepared, like I'm not, it's not as bad as where it feels. It is all in preparation. Preparation is king. And then once I've done it with a whisk, I'll just go in with my blender for 30 seconds. And we're good. Claire, I've not been brave enough to try the terrazzo yet. I can never say it right. I'm just like, I just don't want to be sanding it all. But I've made some beautiful colours ready for when I'm brave enough to do it. Claire is way ahead of the learning curve when it comes to Jasmine. If you haven't already popped over and seen Claire's channel, make sure you do go over and give her some love. A beautiful soul, very creative, and there's some very good instructional videos on Jasmineite as well. So pop over there. What's the? Yeah. that she needs i am oh look at my chicken wing going there oh that's hideous isn't it really bad camera angle there oh oh yeah i think I'll, I'll definitely give her some gold highlights maybe i might put some mud on her then it'll really look like i have found a treasure i'm getting distracted all right Claire does it all by hand. I do it with that. I get a little bit of help from my electric whisk. All right, put that straight into my water. Clean off my tool. Oh, I forgot to get my blending stuff on already. That's no good. Every second is valuable. Claire, you deserve it. Anyway, don't forget, if you do have a channel on here, give a little shout out so people can go over and check you out. Just going to put the noise on for 30 seconds. <laughs> Shot it out there. Heather, thank you so much for the five. That's amazing. I have a cuppa on you, I will, my lovely. I think you should be the one getting a cuppa with all that work you're doing. How was, your, how was it when you had your grandchild staying over? Did you have fun? she gone back now? All right, a little bit of the blue. I feel like I'm just going to keep as much of the white as possible. That's another thing. The ink dries very flaky when you make a mess like I do. So never put it directly over your... Um, your bowl of jasmine I see I'm losing everything I'm losing the will I'm just going to put a couple of drops in I don't want it to be um totally blue all over 
Okay, I'm going to swirl it around a little bit. Claire, I dropped my blue pigment all over my hand uh, yesterday when I was tidying up and there was no glove on me. I was stained. Stained, I tell you. So I don't know if you can see it here. A couple of drops in there and I'm just going to swirl it around a little bit just so we get some kind of, in my opinion, a little bit of texture. I want very subtle. Um, actually, she says she wants subtle. Keep my little thing there. So the dotting company moulds. Let's hope that I'll release it. That's what they look like. You've got a lid. Uh, we're going to go for that. High up and swirl. The only problem with this is I cannot... Um, Get my straw in and blow like I would do with the Buddha. Plenty of resin, uh, resin, plenty of jasmineite left over. That's going to be a very nice, uh, I think, subtle piece. I can't see it from there, but I will bring you in to have a little look and then we're going to slap it and get rid of as many air bubbles as possible. Try not to overfill like I did the other ones. It's got plenty left. There is that soap dish now. Look at us on a roll. So this is the uh, soap dish one. That one's from Etsy as well. The only problem is the more I've got, the harder it's going to be to slap. I'm digging this blue. All right, what I'm going to do is put these on a board so I can slap it and move it. But I still have a little bit left, so it's going to push me to do another. Woo! You've seen it live, people. You've seen me uh, make a mess. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to pick them up, slap them, but I'm mindful that I've got um, some jasmineite in there still that I want to use. So I might use the rest in the bottom of this tub. Give it a little squeeze, give it a little slap. It's actually quite therapeutic, this. All right, so with this soap dish, I'll be able to blow the bubbles. But I am going to bring you in and have a little look. Once I feel I've tapped underneath a lot. This is a little trick. I don't know if it actually adds any value, but if they're in a tray, you can sort of slap them. <laughs> Everybody likes to slap them. You can slap them and uh, you're not going to push the jasmineite over the edge. Uh, but tapping them all sides does release it as well. We're gonna get to see the salt dish. All right, Sharon, come on. Think of that jasmineite in that tub. Let me just leave it there for a little bit. Yeah, I'm really patting my head and rubbing my tummy. Then what have I got left? What have I got left? I'm gonna get another mold that's out here. Just bear with me. This is another one from the dotting company. It's a little uh, tea light one. So I may as well use whatever I've got left in here. Might just be the perfect amount or just short. I think it's just gonna be short, but who says you have to fill it all the way to the top? Nobody. And then I'll be able to see what's happening in chat. Something very soothing about this part. 
taking as much of that jessamine out as possible. All right, put those in for a wash. So this one is not all the way to the top, but it's covering where the candle will go in there. So I think it's absolutely fine. Just mindful I'm getting all that blue dye. Oh, just bear with me. All right, I'm gonna blow. Let me bring you in so you can see the bubbles blowing. Bear with me. I'm going to flip you to the side. All right. So people that weren't here before with the Buddha that's disfigured, um, I'm just getting my straw now and you're going to get to see how all these bubbles disappear with me blowing. Hopefully, hopefully. Where are we? Where's the camera? Can I do it in there with this? I don't know. Don't know if you saw most of those bubbles disappear. Uh, but resin doesn't respond this way, does it? Look at that colour. Love it. Oh, just need to get my heart here. Come on, Sharon. All right, so I'm going to flip you back. You're going to get to see my face again really close up. Apologies. You don't want to see those pores close up. All right, so I'm going to give these a good slap now. Turn it. Oh, it's got suction. <laughs> you know when your silicone moulds just stick to a certain thing and you're like, no. All right, and then I'm just going to slap them for a little bit. There is a fine balance when you start to slap them before when your skin starts to form on top. Um, I know that if you go in there with a paintbrush um, and on an up and coming video where you see me creating the art with it and um, these other things, you see that there's um the benefits of i get my fingers in there and give it a good rub around um but you know what embrace embrace the air bubbles sometimes it just makes them look natural like buddha all right we're just going to sit and wait and tidy up and then once i reveal this that'll be us done for this evening but i'm gonna have a little look but Again, if you want to know more specific information, either ask me, and there's other people in here, or visit Claire's uh, channel to have a look at her videos. Um, I'm going to have a little look. Heather, it's lovely to see you back in here. You're getting more confident with Jasmine and I. Oh. Give it a go. You, I'm going to email it you, so you're going to give it a go and you're going to be successful. Fish and chips by the seaside. Heaven. <laughs> I have to agree. Devon dotting moles look a so I have so many on my wish list. Yeah, they, they they definitely are one of the more expensive moulds for me. But if they end up being really good quality, uh, bye Cheryl, thank you so much for popping by. I don't mind paying it, especially when I've had a go at making my own moulds and I know how expensive it can be. I can't get the camera angle right for you. There you go. I know how expensive it can be. Um. Oh yeah, do you know what I remember? Skeggy, right? Was it Skeggy or was it Scarborough? No, it was Scarborough. It was a lovely day, been walking around and I was at the point where it was like, right, fish and chip time. Queued for about 40 minutes in the sun to sit on the harbour front, got my fish and chips, sat down on the bench just overlooking the har like the harbour or the, yeah, it would be a harbour, not a jetty, and then a seagull shit in it. And it covered it all. I was almost crying. I had to put it in the bin and get some more for another 40 minutes. It was awful. But somebody told me that that is, you know, it's supposed to be good luck for you. But there you go. Um, that's all right. Um, so what questions, if anything, do you have for me? Because like the, um, we're done as far as, well, we've not revealed yet. Don't disappear just yet. But we're just about done with all the moulds. Next week, I'll maybe show you this one. And then I will actually show you how I create some art uh, with it, which has 
This one that I'm not revealing yet, but I keep teasing you with. Claire, just so you know, back of this board here, Jesmini Art video coming near you soon. Give it a little go on some of your boards uh, and create some fluid art with it. There's some, some nice effects that you can create. So yeah, so many possibilities. So I'm really trying to push how you can incorporate that with resin and other mediums in one art project. What happened to Buddha? Buddha's drying. So let me show you. So Buddha is here. Bless her. She's cooling down. She's very hot. Let me take my gloves off so I don't ruin her. I don't want to add any more negative features to her. But she's basically just drying now. She is uh, calming down, drying. Ooh, coffee table. Nice. Um, yeah, and I, I went around one of the furniture sh stores, uh, just one where they do some Billy Bargains. Is it TK Maxx? And they've got lots of outdoor garden furniture or little stands that's all replicas of Jesmineite with Tourette's Sober. It's, I hope I've said that right, but it's, they're not real, it's fake. It's just like a, a picture that's on there. So it's like, ooh, nice. Did the mold last? Yes. The mould last, I had leakage, she ended up with skin disease and lost part of her ear, but she looks very rustic and old. I'll show you. So this is what she looked like with her skin deformities. Uh, but the mould I can reuse again, and if I'd have just put 600ml of jesmonite in there, it would have turned out perfect, other than I lost the ear. Uh, but it makes it look quite quite rustic and what we're waiting for now is just these other moulds oh, yeah that's just how my day's going we're just waiting for the um these ones to fully cure so we can demold them and i can show you the effects and that's us done for the day hello jo zeus did you come in to have a little look yeah did you have a look it's just the paper isn't it you come in to say hello yeah you want to know what that noise was don't you <laughs> Good boy. Zeus heard the noise and he's like, what can I come in here and chew and eat and take away? So he's having a little look. Oh yeah. So he's very nervous in the art room though. Not because <laughs> I'm mean, uh, just all the things around like the lights and everything. He just doesn't like the space in here, I don't think. Unless he thinks there's something for him to eat like now. Just picking the stuff up that dropped off, sorry. It's not really what you want to see in life, but it's the reality of me dropping things. It's my box where I have all my little bits of paper ends. So if I want to make something level, I've got it to hand and easy to use. It fell off. Anyway. Uh, yeah, Zeus thinks it's biscuit shower. You can say hello, Zeus. He won't let me pick him up, but it's quite heavy to be picked up anyway. You come in here, can you pick him up? Come here. You can say hello. Let me let me take you down and show you. Let me bring you hello, Lee. Let me show you Zeus. Hello, Zeus. Hiya. How are you? You come in to say hello. Yeah, you are, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you spotted my mask, are you? You're going to take my mask. Organised. Oh, I don't know about organised. Look at it. It's, uh, I'm feeling a little bit out of control at the minute. There it's not. And this just makes me hyperventilate at the minute. Because <laughs> I've got crap everywhere. I can't work in crap, honestly. It stresses me out. How bad's that? I think it's because it's such a small space. If I don't stay on top of it... I feel overwhelmed quite easily. I think I've got issues. <laughs> but it's kind of like, I get to a point where I can, like I, when, when Claire shows me her workspace and she's very creative in her workspace, I'd be like, because <laughs> she's got a beautiful workspace, don't you, Claire? Uh, uh, but every so often it'll just get a little bit cluttered and she'll share it with us on one of her videos. Um, but because I've got such a small space, I can't create if it's not tidy. And I'll get to a point where I'm feeling overwhelmed, I can't create. So, 
<coughs> I will just clean the whole space just to reset myself but I'm sure a lot of people are like that as well <coughs> yeah a bit of OCD didn't do any harm <laughs> oh I one day I'm hoping to get a bigger space I keep saying to Neil I need to go into one of the other bedrooms but um I'm already it's got all my stuff ready to sell or it's got all my excess stuff out there or the stuff that I do when I'm packing terrible <laughs> oh, Claire is it carnage <laughs> it gets to the point where you're like I'm just gonna shut the door and walk away from it for a little bit and then I'll go back there later clutters your mind yes so this is almost at the point where it's ready for demolding wait a little bit longer I think that's the be beauty of it isn't it instant gratification <laughs> I love that there's so many creative people that have the same issues as well about the space I procrastinate about cleaning the molds I really 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 detest cleaning the molds so if it's ones that I really like and they're very expensive i'll make sure obviously you give them tlc or anything but i have a little box where i put molds that need cleaning in it and that's i'll do it another day pile <laughs> no can't cope in a small space with clutter <laughs> i reckon that we all need to like have a um i won't say a shame fest but a, a like let me share and show everybody this is my art space this is what my reality so that we all feel better about that we're all the same anyway i've got a collaboration coming up with claire from claire's crafty corner uh next friday isn't it claire i've still got to start it i've procrastinated <laughs> i'm normally so on it so uh yeah so watch out for that one for us i think it's friday isn't it claire yeah, so watch out for that one. <laughs> yeah, we do need... Oh, craft room. Oh, do you know what? I'd be the person that would love to go and organise you. I'd be the Monica from Friends, who you can knock on the door and say, go around there. I, I, I do love organising. <laughs> I do. I do. I, I'd be that person. <laughs> oh, it's Saturday. We've got a premiere on Saturday. So I've got a collaboration with Claire. So watch out for that one there. Uh, don't give me a heart attack either I've procrastinated Claire I keep thinking well I've got a day off on Tuesday I can do it all then I think I have built in a contingency plan for if it goes wrong or if I can't edit so I've got to do that yeah see you later Sue you be relocating to your shed now that's got to be good yeah can organize but can't keep it that way yeah it's a little bit like that <laughs> Oh, I don't want to see your space. I do. I do. I think we all should shame ourselves and put it up and say, but not do it when it's all tidied, when we've cleaned it. Like, this is, this is my reality. Yeah, it is very small. All right, what we're going to do is, I think we're at a space where I can demold these now. I didn't set a timer. I'm just going by the, the touching and the warmth to make sure that they are in a good place come on Buddha let's bring you and your ear up here so Buddha is going to have to continue to um, cure and sweat out all that moisture for the next 24 hours and then I will definitely <laughs> see if I can stick her ear back on uh, put some gold highlights and put some protection on her because she is going to go outside um yeah we're gonna we're gonna do this let's see what they're gonna be like all right let's see if this has worked sometimes it's like giving birth isn't it with uh with molds getting them out but it's so fragile at this stage i don't want to ruin it it's not popping out easy. The shape of it. I'm 
I'm doing I'm looking at you this way and like wishing on everything that it's not gonna crack or crumble because it's so fragile. Ah, oh, far out. Claire, got any tips for me? Should I roll it up? I think it's too thick to roll up. It's like I need somebody to pull it out. It's like I can see it there. Woo! It's the new plaster of Paris. Yeah, I think it is. Claire's done a video on um, concrete jasmine. I think it was plaster of Paris. So if you want to see a video comparing them all, oh, I just want it out. This is where I do have issues, but I don't want to ruin my mould. Rolling is the easiest way, like this. Rolling it like this. I think this is what you mean, Claire, or am I just being silly? <laughs> I'll tell you what, while that one just does its thing, I'm going to do one that I know will come out easy, which is the soap dish. Oh, that came out so easy. <laughs> oh, yes. So I will come and get my soap, soap dish. <laughs> I'm just laughing at Claire's comment. That is stunning. Love that. I'll be making some of these now for each of my bathrooms. Love that colour. Right, what did Claire say? Because she says I'm rolling it wrong. No, rolling down the side. Oh, you mean like rolling it like I was trying to do? <laughs> uh, it won't, it won't roll though, Claire. It's so thick. Neo, can you come and pull this out my hole? There has got to be an easy way for this to come out. See how thick it is, Claire? It just won't let me uh, roll it up. Oh, all I keep thinking is it's so fragile I can break it. It's like giving birth. Oh, come on. You're gonna see me throw it soon if I break it. Come on, you can do it. Oh, did you hear that suction? <laughs> so I've got to sand the bottom of them. I'll get that all level. Uh, and it looks like it's got a hole that I've got to push through because it's a plant pot. But I am gonna see if I can get the lid out just so you can see what this pot's gonna look like. Of oh, course, Sharon, you can do it. Things like this wind me up so much. What did Claire say then? Um, <laughs> come on, pull this out, Sharon. <laughs> so I'm in double entries. <laughs> Thick wall most don't do well with. Now, no, but they do, they do, but look, but they're not very good for getting out, are they? Let me see if Neil will pull it out my hole. and he's going to try and get it out my hole for me. <laughs> no, I'm, I can't. I've got to roll it up and get it out, but it's too tight. <laughs> I can't roll it up and I need that to come out, but you don't... <laughs> Can you pull it now? Gently, gently. Don't, don't break it. <laughs> Is it coming? It's coming. I don't know how hard I can pull it. Well, <gasps> oh, 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 that felt good. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Alright, so I've got to sand it, but look at that. 
Look at that. Let me sand it though, because it's not it's not quite fitting in there. I remember the dramas that I had when I tried doing the mould that Claire did. Claire, I don't know if you watched my live. The one that you did, and I got it from your Amazon store, and it was it was not straight. And I couldn't get my lid to fit in the mould. But I, I persevered for nearly 40 minutes sanding it until it fit in there. How cute is that? I don't know what it's meant to be. But I really like it. <laughs> Do you ever buy something just because it's pretty? And then you think, I don't know what I will ever use you for. You know, I don't know where I will ever use it for. But I'll find a use. I really think I'll find a use. Unless this one's not the lid for this one, and I'm meant to be using it on a different mould, because I've got plenty of moulds out there. I thought I'd pick the right one. It's just so cute. Now I'm going to do the bottom. And what is this library? <laughs> There's no kids allowed on my channel, let's say that. Trinket dish. It's a pot pot. It's a pot pot. <laughs> it is a pot pot. So the reason you stand now, and I should really be wearing my mask, is um, because Jesmineite is so brittle at this stage, you've got this golden window where you can sand it down so easily uh, as it's curing. But the bottom's all, the bottom's all done. What's that? Oh, I just think that's so cute. It's just going to be one that's going to be stuck around my house, gathering dust but looking pretty. And I'll be able to say, I did that. So let's have a little look at the last one, which is the heart. A lot of sweat went into that one. Let's see. Let gravity do the work. Like a lovely little set so i in a if i'd have used this to the top that would have been a bit deeper but we didn't so we got another little so it's like a little tea light holder claire thank you so much for hanging out have a wonderful evening there you go so that's that one so a good night's work with what I think are some beautiful results. Uh, I'm just sanding around the edges there. And I've got a nice little set for my bathroom now. So I've got a tea light holder, because you're always going to want a candle in your bathroom, a soap dish, and a little trinket tub, just because it looks pretty, and a Buddha for my garden. So I'm just going to see what's being said, and I think that's it for us for tonight. But I just want to say, Thank you all ever, uh, for being here and hopefully you've had some giggles and spending some time. Thank you so much for all your support. Remember, if you haven't already, thumbs up. It really does help me. And I shall be back next Sunday, most likely at 8 o'clock, to do um, the ocean one uh, with resin where I'll show you um, different stages. But I'll, I'll probably do it over three weeks, so we'll do a few different layers together live so you can do it with me or you can do it after but it'll be real time for you all so uh, yeah that's all right thank you all so much for hanging out with me much love wait much love we've had a successful night with a few dramas but it was all good have a wonderful evening thank you all and thank you so much paula for your help with chat and thank you to all the members and all the supporters bye bye